So you want to make a good morph? Well, you came to the right place. I'll be giving you tips and tricks on how to make a good and simple morph. By the way, all of these morphs are non-Game Pass friendly. Let's jump right into it. First, you need an idea for your morph. It's best to do this so you can get an idea of what you are trying to go for. Another way to get an idea is to look up pictures of cat breeds. It'll give you a good idea, and you might find something very unique. Here is my base, it's quite plain, so I'll show you how to get fades on it. And what I use for fading. Here is what I use. So we got everything for the head, now it's time to get the torso ready. Here is what you need. Now that's done, we can move on to fading it. Other tips I forgot to add was nostrils. I like them because one it looks more realistic. And you have a bigger nose. Don't forget about coloring whiskers. With darker morphs, I put the whiskers darker. And if the morph is lighter then, I'll make the whiskers lighter. Also, I usually just color the nose gray because it looks cool. Or just a darker color. done. Here are some more ideas of the same pattern. share some of my tips to make calico morphs or tortoiseshells. done with calicos for me is that i can't do a very good one without a picture of some sort and here's another one because why not and hey if you want to see some morph ideas here's a video for you